Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Today, we begin our English lesson on question tags. Let's look at the definition of question tags. Question tags are short questions at the end of statements. Let's take it again. Question tags are short questions at the end of statements. Question tags are mainly used in speech when we want to either confirm that something is true or not, or to encourage a reply from the person we are speaking to. So when we want to confirm a statement, either it's true or not, or we want to encourage a reply from somebody, we use question tags. Example of question tags. Aren't you? Isn't she? Won't you? So quest let's look at the form question tags take. Every question tag comes after a statement. Example. It is raining, isn't it? It is raining is the statement and the question tag is isn't it? At the end of every question tag there is a question mark and before a question tag there is a comma. Let's look at how question tags are formed. In the formation of question tags, you need to know five general rules. Let's start with rule number one. Rule number one says that you need to change auxiliary verb from positive to negative and vice versa. An auxiliary verb is also known as a helping verb and examples are Is, am, um, was, are, were, may, and so on and so forth. So positive statements use a negative tag and negative statements use a positive tag. Let's look at an example. So positive statements like snow is white will use a negative tag isn't it now what makes this statement positive what makes this statement positive is that there is no negative word an example of a negative word is not what makes this question tag negative is it has a negative word in it which is not Another example of a positive statement and a negative tag. I am going to my village, aren't I? Mary can speak English, can she? So these are examples of positive statements and negative tag. Let's look at negative statements and positive tag. They aren't funny, are they? So like the rule said, if the statement is negative, the question tag needs to be positive. So this is a, a typical example of a negative statement and this is a typical example of a positive tag. He shouldn't say that, should he? I can do no more, can I? These are all examples of negative statements and positive tags so let's look at verbs or positive verbs and negative auxiliary verbs positive auxiliary verb are is was where 
I am, are, and so on and so forth. Negative auxiliary verbs are isn't, wasn't, weren't, aren't, and so on and so forth. Now you need to know that you would always use they for your question tag when your statement has any of the following words like everyone, everybody, someone, somebody, anyone, anybody, none, or nobody. Example Everyone is eating. Irene's day. Let's look at rule number two. Rule number two says that put will you in case of an imperative sentence. So the question is, what are imperative sen sentences? Imperative sentences are sentences of order or requests. So they are sentences that make an order or a request. Example, stop what you are doing, pass me the pen, give me the book. These are all statements or sentences of order or request and hence are known as imperative sentences. So question tag for imperative sentences always use the question tag will you. Example, stop daydreaming, will you? Pass me the pen, will you? You can also note that In place of will you, you can use won't you and can't you. Let's look at rule number three. Rule number three says that put shall we in case of suggestions often introduced by let's. So in rule number three, when you find a statement starting with let's or let us do something, then the question tag will be shall we. Example, let's go for an outing, shall we? Let's go to rule number four. Rule number four says that when there isn't any direct auxiliary mentioned, use the following words. Example, when the verb in the statement ends with S, use the word doesn't. When the word, the verb in the statement is in the present form, use the word don't in the question tag and when the verb in the statement is in the past tense you use the the word or the word didn't in the question tag let's look at examples so when the verb ends in s you use the word doesn't so Keisha studies hard doesn't he when the verb is in the present tense example like shout you use the word don't they example they shout a lot don't they When the verb is in the past tense, like but, you use the past tense, 
didn't in the question tag example she bought a dress didn't she let's look at rule number five in rule number five when has have or had are the main verbs you use the following words example when has is the main verb in the statements you use the word doesn't let me take it again when has is the main verb in the statement you use the word doesn't example she has a cycle doesn't she she has a car doesn't she she has a motto doesn't she when have is the main verb you use the word don't in the question tag form example they have money don't they she has cars oh sorry they have cars don't they so when have is the main verb you use the word don't when had is the main verb you use the word didn't example he had fever didn't he he had cough didn't he she had cold didn't she so these are the general rules you need to learn or follow in order to make question tags watch this video over and over again if you do not understand anything you can contact me for further clarification I have sent some exercises on question tags and I hope this video will aid you or assist you in answering them until the next lesson, stay safe. Bye-bye.